Hello and welcome to iThrive Ideas. Procrastination is a real thing that can trickle into other areas of your life. Financial procrastination is one of those areas. Financial procrastination is when you have financial obligations and moves to make, but you put those decisions aside on a continuous basis. For instance, you know you need to balance your checkbook, but you continue waiting until things are going wrong. Or you may have student loans and need to apply for a deferment, but you let the time lapse and end up in the credit bureau. Here are a few suggestions on how to get past your financial procrastination. One, accept where you are. You may feel as if you have to do too many things to get past the point of no return. The key is in accepting where you are, knowing you may never be ready to tackle everything and start from there. Motivating yourself, even when you don't want to, allows you to make baby steps towards making things right. Two, time it. When you decide to take those baby steps, don't overdo it. Give yourself time to get adjusted to figuring things out. Taking five or 10 minutes to do something simple is the first step in transformation. Perception is everything. Don't shy away because you feel as if things are too far gone. Address it one step at a time. Three, give everything a deadline. If you work well under pressure, put your financial tasks on a deadline. With a firm deadline in place, it's easier to look at a task as something that absolutely has to be done rather than something that can be put off again and again. Four, set some goals. Your baby steps should be tied to your goals. What do you need to do? How can it be accomplished? Even if it's going to open up a new bank account, you should set a goal and a date by when it should be done. This way, you'll hold yourself accountable. Five, reward yourself. When you tackle those financial issues, take some time to reward yourself. These rewards can be tied to your short and long-term goals. For instance, if you want to go see a movie, give yourself an hour to get things done before you have to leave. If you haven't done what you're supposed to do, then no movie. Or set yourself up for completing a number of financial tasks. Every task you complete, you get to surf the net or watch something you really wanted to do. It's a different type of motivation, but it could work in your favor. Having someone close to you around to monitor your progress can go a long way. You'll hold yourself accountable, but someone else will be holding you accountable too. Once you establish these healthy habits when it comes to your finances, the stressfulness of the situation may help prevent your procrastination. Thank you for watching this I Thrive Ideas. Please feel free to like and subscribe at www.thrivewealth.com. Thank you.